Previously on Starship Rebellion, the party rescued the Terran Republic officer Hank Manson and acquired a power core from the Zolaris Free Wire Tower. Then recruited the Malarian fleet that was trapped in the black hole and took back the anti-graviton device from the ESA. So thanks to time dilation, they ended up over a century in the future, where the purge destroyed almost all of time and space. Fortunately, they joined forces with the Order of Restoration, an organization formed by the Dauntless crew from the first game. Okay. This team has no technicians, so this is gonna be a little tougher. Yeah, we need to use electric attacks, huh? Oh my goodness, these guys are fast as hell. Okay, good, you're paralyzed. That means I can just use normal attacks. So I think the enemies drop enough batteries I can get away with not having a technician. Though obviously technician will always be the best class, unless they get nerfed in a future game. Does not respawn since it left the corpse behind. Yeah, was, the fact that we started inside the armory really does remind me of the prologue of Origins. Deck 2 starboard. Synthetic corn dog. Uh. What? Why did, was there an exclamation? There wasn't even anything to grab inside the sink. Maybe if it had given me an item, it would be justified. Like maybe someone just conveniently dropped a mat, a futuristic Matcon siphon there in the sink somehow. Take a. What? I didn't even realize this was a thing you could do in the bathroom. Better make sure to wash my hands afterwards. There actually is a piece of poop in there, dude! We made it. Pick a station. A disengage alert says. Let's see what we're dealing with. We're receiving a status update request from ESA Central Command. They must have detected the distress call from earlier. You're asking why there's no visual communications. There's no way you're gonna fool them. Unless you can, I don't know, can get a disguise somehow. Tell them that we destroyed the Saber Wolf after we were attacked. Let them know we sustained damage to our communications array. Request repairs at Inferno Station. Setting in transmission. One moment. They're saying repair request approved. Good job eliminating the rogue canine flagship. This is... it's so... They, it's obvious they're onto us. If the Saber Wolf is detected, they'll blow our cover. So... Send a transmission to the Saber Wolf. Tell them to lie low until we give a signal. Understood. Set a course for Infernus. Engage warp drive. Roger, Admiral. Oh, if I'm going to Infernus, maybe I can just use the casino to grind more money in case these guys somehow get to the past. I mean, future. We have some time before we reach Inferno. Let's see what the Alliance's propaganda has to say. I want to see how the conference is being framed by the media. This is the Interstellar News Network. I am your host, Brian Williams. Today's top story. Negotiations, uh, negotiations have begun in orbit above Infernus Prime. Representatives from over 30 Outer Rim worlds are in attendance. The fourth flung colony has recently been the target of several terrorist attacks. The extremists call themselves the Outer Rim Coalition. They have taken the colony in, of Infernus Prime hostage. The ORC has a history of bloodshed. They target anyone who doesn't align with their fundamentalist ideology. The extremist group has managed to activate dangerous relics found on the planet. They use these relics to go on what can only be described as a killing spree. Thousands of ordinary citizens were killed in the attacks. A temporary evacuation of all ESA personnel was ordered, for their safety and yours. Infernus is now under a heavy blockade. Nobody may enter or leave the or orbit of the planet, or they will be destroyed. The fate of those who remain on the planet will be decided at the conference. The Earth Systems Alliance are the true coalition builders. Negotiations have been tense and productive. Here's a short segment from today's session. The Monconian Workers Collective appreciates the security guarantees made by the ESA. However, 
We have concerns about the ESA labor practices. Competing in the alliance markets right, uh, might lead to an erosion of wages for the collective. Rest assured, joining the alliance will not lead to a decrease in the wages. We will make reasonable accommodations for the Monconian Workers Collective. We will provide generous subsidies that should offset any loss in wages. The Egozian Confederation takes issue with this approach. We have no pro problem competing in alliance markets and require no subsidies, although alliance tariffs, taxes, and service fees are out of control. Your concerns are understood. The Alliance is prepared to offer a generous economic package for the Egosians. This includes special tax-free economic zones and free trade among member states. I remind this council of this conference is, uh, uh, conference is about our mutual security. A threat exists which endangers all our worlds. We must act now, before it's too late. Further details will be presented to all of you in the, cl the closed session. I have a bad feeling. Let's set aside our small differences and embrace a shared vision. A vision of a prosperous, stable, and safe galaxy. A new interstellar order, one ruled by strength, unity, and the rule of law. Only when we work together can we achieve this shared vision. Deputy Director Cromwell always carries herself with such grace. She really cares, you can just tell. What is the ex existential threat that she mentioned? Will the Dell get signed onto membership of the Alliance? We'll have updates for all of you as they come in. This is a historic time. I can feel it. Never before have we been so close to a brighter future. Don't wipe away my tears, for these are tears of joy. Crocodile tears. What about the orb channel? Turn that uh, dog damn thing off. I can't stand another minute. I won't torture you anymore with this sword, I guess. We're starting to get close anyway. Approaching Inferno System. Take us out of warp. Take us to the station. Get us as close as you can. But there's no way you can dis- uh, Do you have a way to disguise yourselves? Otherwise they'll know you're coming and frame you anyways. Aye, Admiral. Tiberius, guest tapped into conference chamber video feed. Understood, Admiral. Let's see what kind of lights they come over this time. I've broken through the encryption, establishing video feed. I don't see anyone on the screen though. Weird. Okay, now they're there. Okay. As I warned all of you, there, this is a there is a threat that endangers all our worlds. We believe an attack is imminent. It is imperative that we all sign a treaty. The array will offer protection by integrating all of our defensive networks. If a threat strikes one of us, all of us will be able to respond quickly. I'm not convinced. I don't see any evidence of a threat. Our room collisions activities have always been pretty small scale. What's different this time? We have evidence that the terrorists have acquired a deadly superweapon. An attack on any of us can come at any time. Director of Special Operations Colonel Eric Craxton can explain. That vampire looking dude. As most of you know, thousands of years ago, a species known as the Malarians inhabited this region of space. They were quite advanced, but their civilization came to a, came to a sudden end. Their power rose to such heights that they destroyed themselves. Their artifacts can be found on many worlds throughout this sector, although you'll find the most valuable ones on their former homeworld in Furnace Prime. A number of weeks ago, one of our excavation teams stumbled upon an ancient Malarian database. This database contained the digital consciousness of a survivor, their former ruler, a Malarian warlord by the name of Zeron. Before we could retrieve the database, our excavation team was assaulted by an ORC terrorist cell. The assigned android was stolen along the Malarian database. The terrorists entered into a Pact of Zeron. They began to ex activate relics all across the planet, targeting our forces. We had to evacuate. One of the relics was an ancient superweapon. The device allowed us for instantaneous transportation. Troops, explosives, ships, and even entire fleets. In the blink of an eye, they can strike anywhere. At any moment, they can and will be on your doorstep. 
The Terra sent this transmission only hours ago. This is... Dude, they didn't even use the right color scheme. This is Lord Zeron. My people's legacy lives on through me. My new allies and I have rightly taken back my ancestral homeworld. The rest of our ancestral homeland will be returned to us. You have 12 your hours to leave what you call Proxima Sector. If you do not comply with our demands, you'll be destroyed. Deep fake technology, huh? Kind of ironic uh, considering there's a lot of AI generated portraits around here, huh? It's been more than 12 hours, at least so far, to have an attack, but that doesn't mean they won't. Oh no, they detected. They detected uh, Lexington. There's been an attack. They detected Lexington already. I bet that ship was al was uh, was hacked or something. It was already tampered with to uh, to uh, to rat them out. Freaking news! They Lin six Relnix three and D seven colony have come under attack in Proxima Sector. Probably a false flag operation again, right? Reporting live from Dalen Six. The devices appear to be coming from through some sort of portal. Wait, what? We're receiving live video feed from the surface. P are they are they disguising themselves as Malarian ships? Because that's not the ESA color scheme for sure. It's just gonna be another deep fake, right? Dalen 6, that's my home. Let's do something. The Seven Fleet is en route. Unless we can find where these portals are coming from, we're all in danger. We need a scan. Give us your command codes. Hurry. Does all Nova Ray will coordinate our mutual effects? Transferring command codes. Uploading command codes. The Sun Fleet has arrived. We're here to save the day. An energy field. They did it. They found a way to close the portals. They're heroes. I bet they just spray painted their ESA ships to look more, pr pr more magenta. That's all they had to do. Additional text reported on Odarian Free. For NASA 7 and Kroliak Prime. Yes, they will protect you. We need those command codes. Transferring command codes. Transferring command codes. Transferring command codes. Even if we manage to get back to this time through the slipstream gate, how are we going to prevent all of this at once? Will, will the Malarians be able to tell, uh, hopefully tell the difference between the fakes and the real ones? Transferring command codes. Dispatching fleets. Dude, some of the background didn't even fully load there. Huh. Oh. They're sitting in a void. So what exactly are you supposed to do now? I think you're screwed. I think you have to I think you should just bail. Bail and start a new life farming on the, some distant planet somewhere. We can't let them get away with this. We have to shut this shit down now. Tiberius, open the channel of the fleet. Priority one. Emerald Bernard to Coalition Fleet. Sus alert status red. Send coordinates, engage. Please on the way. ETA two minutes, uh, 22 minutes. We have to expose these lies. They'll only hear us if we do it in person. But we don't have enough evidence and they spray painted their ships. It's impossible. The power of spray paint is just too much. The conference chamber is heavily guarded. It won't be easy. Our odds of survival are not good. I never said it would be easy. If we don't make it out of this one alive, it was an honor serving with each and every one of you. You're, d oh man, famous last words. Don't be like that, Argus. We're all coming back alive. You hear me? A Vatcon scrambler is in effect. I can't get us directly into the conference chamber. It's close enough. We'll just have to fire our way through. Let's see if we can improve our odds a little bit. How do we improve our odds? Initiate data spike. It'll overwhelm the internal systems. Initiating data spike. Get us over there. Initiating Vatcon transfer. I bet we would have won if we had a technician. Technicians are so OP. The council chamber is just ahead. We're almost there. 
Oh man. I bet they plan it so it'll explode just as we enter. And then they can frame us. Perfect timing, right? Power of spray paint is simply too much. Telemetry is coming in from across the sector. It's working. It'll be mere moments until we triangulate the source of the portals. Portals that you most likely created yourself, right? One moment, there appears to be an incoming fleet. The design profile is Knight. The rogue Knight fleet. They must be working with the terrorists. We can't send for this. No matter, they will not break the blockade. Do not let them destroy the unity we've achieved here. To those of you who have put your faith in the Alliance, you will re not regret this. We will do everything in our power to protect you from the threat. Liar! Uh, your back is to the enemy. This could be bad. They're lying to all of you. They're a real threat. We will not let these dogs of war derail the conference. Help those of them come here. It's a trap. Fear not, representatives. They have been placed in the time dilation field. They no longer propose a threat. Time for them, to, uh, time for them has been slowed to a mere fraction of ordinary space time. They're essentially frozen until this situation is resolved. The TNA fleet is opening fire. Prepare race for impact. Don't tell me that fl uh, the fleet is actually is working with Zena. Remain calm. Our fleet will make quick work of them. I'm not sure. Or is it the, the or is it uh, uh, Commodus? Yes, we're trying to lay the source of the portals. Oh no! If it, if another knows this the whole time, the portals are originating from a facility deep beneath the surface. We're receiving transmission from the surface. This is Lord Zeron. Leave our ancestral homeland, or you'll be destroyed. We don't negotiate with terrorists. I bet this is the evil Zeron that Kern picked up. Or something. I bet they brainwashed him to be completely compliant with the ESA. And that's why he turned red. Yes, that must be it. He must be the s copied Zeron. Asks for this council's permission to initiate an immediate orbital bombardment. Lost inference will be a significant setback. We must sack now, for sake of our mutual security. Approved. 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 Yes votes, 28. No votes, 2. Who are the 2? Setting the orders. Initiating orbital, orbital bombardment. And now they nuke Infernus Prime. So if only we had unmanned ships, it, it, we could have used, ugh, instead of t uh, unmanned ground tanks. It's gonna be just like with Raxian 2. If we could bring the fleet over, would we be able to make a difference? Would we be able to stop the fi stop the fake ships that they spray painted magenta? It is done. All life on the surface of Inference has been eliminated. The terrorists and lords are enough and defeated. The rogue K-Night fleet has been destroyed. Our victory today was swift and decisive. Today's events teach us a valuable lesson. When we work together in unity, absolutely nothing can stand in our way. Much life was lost today. These criminals will pay for what they've done. Justice will be served. You're just gonna open a trapdoor and launch us out of space, right? Which is a proxima execution, just to be uh, justice to be served in the outer rim. Deactivate the time dilation field. They're a real threat. They. What? How? Go ahead and line up into a single row. No. Did I say it was a choice? What? How are we getting out of this one, sir? I'm afraid this might be the end for us, my friend. Let's see. 
I'll save you for last, Lexington. A class 2 Cyberwolf. What a waste of good hardware. No, I spent so much time grinding that one. Let me ask you, Director Fox, was it worth it? Go to hell. Perhaps we'll see you there. Serena Mori, you sure have gotten yourself into trouble th uh, this time. But friends live like Lexington, who needs enemies, am I right? One day you'll be stopped. I'll believe it when I see it. I'd like to see them try. You led them to an early grave. How does it feel, Argus? Grr. Odin, you're so loyal. Unfortunately, you backed the wrong team. Another cyber wolf. You know, your master turned out to be quite the fool. Turn around, you old dog. Until recently, you had a distinguished life among your people, only for it to come to this. Maybe you should have stayed in retirement. I'm tired of hearing you talk. Just pull the trigger already. Gladly. Goodbye. Use a Madcon Cypher for that one. Well, at least I don't have to worry about grinding them anymore. Oh god, how awful. The public execution of Lexington and his team. The destruction of Infernus. It all sent a clear message. This is what happens to you when you oppose the Alliance. This is all our fault, guys. Everyone we care about, they, pay, they sure pay the price. We weren't there when they needed us, damn it. Don't blame yourself, Marie. We're not the ones who did this. And plus, we can still time travel. What happens next, Fiskar? The rest is history. The Alliance consolidated their power. One by one, many worlds came under the rule. I can't believe that signing of the Alliance is even an option. These guys are horrible. Like... Uh, that's uh, that's uh, even if it does stop the purge, is it even worth it? And it, it's not like they stopped the purge even when they won, anyways. They just wanted to be the last ones in power. They didn't care about stopping the purge at all. In time, all hope was lost. Nobody dared to oppose them. Approximately five years from your time, harnessing the power of the black hole at the center of our galaxy, Kern activated the relics created by the first ones. The Advena. He was never seen or heard from again. Then the purge. With that much power at his disposal, the founders believed Kern was attempting a long jump. Long jump? What for? He already has all the power in the world. Billions of years, something must have gone wrong, even for him. Every team we've attempted to send that space-time location, including the founders, they haven't returned. But your unexpected appearance here presents a new opportunity, a second chance for all of us. A second chance? You mean you can send us home? Yes, and more. I need some time to collect my thoughts and consult the council. We've prepared sleeping arrangements for you. Night cycle is coming soon. Maybe you'll send. Maybe you'll send your own sh fleet as well. That could. That would really turn the tides, but might cause a bit of a time paradox. Oh wow! Check out the view. What's with all this fire? So many bits and pieces. Somehow they have made it work. They really built life for themselves here. What a wild ride! I think, just a couple of weeks ago we were chasing signals in the desert. Who would have thought in a million years we'd up here? The end of the world. Who could have known that the stakes were this high? All this timeline stuff, it's enough to make your head spin. Good need to, ta uh, to write everything down on a piece of paper. Will we be able- will we ever make it home? Even if we do, do we even stand a chance? Affirmative. Current probability of survival, approximately 32.16%. Our odds are going up. But still, we're always the underdog. I wouldn't have it any other way. 
Projection. This is Chief Operator Fligarius and Assistance of Time's Eclipse. As most of you are already aware, we've recently received visitors from another time. We come from a pivotal moment in history. The absence from their proper place in history set into motion a series of events. Events which led to the Alliance domination and eventually the Purge. As all of you know, the Founders came from the Al Alpha Terra, the original timeline. They founded the Order with the purpose of restoring what had been lost, first stopping the Purge and restoring the reality. While the Pope of Alien effort, they failed. Unfortunately, we lost them many years ago. Every time to use the slipstream gate on the last known space-time coordinates of the Founders resulted in a missing team or ship. Eventually, we gave up. There may now be a chance to set things right. I met the Council earlier today. After reviewing the information, we have consensus on the logical course of action. We're going to send Scrap Springs Division home, approximately 120 Earth years into the past. We have also concluded that their current fleet numbers would be insufficient to defeat the Alliance. We're asking for volunteers, people willing to go back to fight for our shared future. Yeah! Got, uh, we got the, uh, the Times Eclipse team on our side. Hopefully th they do not use a confusing color scheme for the tactics battles. Using the gate consumes a significant amount of power. This would be a one-way trip. This isn't just about helping scrap strings of the vision. This is five years before the space-time event which resulted in the disappearance of the Founders. Volunteers would have the opportunity to establish a base of operations in the past. This would give us a chance of making contact with the Founders, act achieving the original vision of the Order of Restoration. Restore that w which was lost, past, present, and future. How am I going to get any sleep? If I can just get my brain to stop thinking, I can fall asleep pretty fast. So basically, this is going to be impossible. Another sleepless night. But will we make it out of this one alive? All we can do is try our best and hope it's enough. It better be. We didn't come all this way for nothing. Do you guys get magic getting sleep? None. We do not require sleep as you understand it. I wasn't talking about you, Karnas, or Zeron, or was it Ralnor? Wherever you are, you're weird. Hey, this is the future. There's gotta be some crazy advanced weapons or armor we haven't seen before. It might come in handy when you head home. Let's use this as a chance to stock up on any needed items before we head out. Fiskar said we should meet him at the command center when we're ready. Let's do this. If only they put a casino here, then I could farm extra money to buy extra stuff in case I need it. Well, I already have Ion Lances anyway, but I don't think it, there's anything else I can really do to prepare. Let's go. I have a feeling I'm going to be thrust into a tactics battle the moment I, uh, 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 the moment I finish the cutscene. Ligarius the Fleet, prepare to enter Temporal Slipstream Conduit. I'll see you all on the other side. Let's get our asses home. We're bringing the Malarian fleet with us, right? Yes. The Malarian fleet and a bunch of a, a bunch of people from the Order. Alright, time for an embedded video again. Now we have a bunch of green people on our side. Green and purple. The Green Purple Army. I just hope we can tell. Uh, we have a way to identify the spray painted fake ones, so. though. But at least they won't be able to spray paint themselves green, right? Maybe we should have spray painted ourselves green. I don't know. That way we'd be able to tell the difference between us and the fix. I'm feeling this is going to be the biggest tactics battle yet. If, we're br if we have to control, uh, 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 to, uh, control both uh, the Order ships and our own Malarian ships. We're receiving a transmission from the surface. This is Lord Zeron, leave our ancestral homeland. What the? Cut the f the feed got cut. An interference signal, or you'll be destroyed. Oh shoot! It was a deep fake, or no sort of deep fake. He was using uh, Zeron's data, but it was actually Kern the whole time s saying those words. Cut in 4K. What Kern? 
How is this possible? Or, wait, would they even be using 4K at this point? The K8s are right, we've been lied to! What the hell? But those two, but the K... Uh, but, oh no, Lexington's group is still trapped though. How are we gonna save them? You fool, you said the transmission would be flawless. Hundreds of ships. The super carrier. Frexen, get us out of here! Initiating Nikon transport. Okay, but what about... What about Lexington? We're just gonna leave him there? No way! He's just gonna be stuck there for the for the rest of the game. Man. Chromo's flagship has just warped out. Go ahead, run. We're coming for you. Seems the rest of the fleet is also attempting an escape. Activate the inhibitor. Just stop them from warping out. Activate the inhibitor. Order combined fleet to attack. The threat ha stops right here, right now. The biggest tactics battle yet, huh? Good thing I switched to normal mode. This one looks pretty complicated. Xeron. Holy moly that we're completely surrounded. Dude! Uh, where the hell is the rest of my team? Okay, they're here, but ouch! Uh... No, my team is actually surrounding them! Okay, but I should still probably back off a bit. Ugh. Oh my goodness, these guys are everywhere! Ah! They use their stupid mad con torpedoes. Yeah, that's an extremely unreliable move. Ugh. Oh man, I am getting ch I'm- Dude, why did you teleport in the middle of the enemy like that? Ugh. At this rate, my flagship will go down before I can do anything. If I was on hard mode, I'd probably be dead already. Ugh. Seriously, the fact that my guys are not moving first means I don't have a way to get into a, p a good position before they just wallop me. Ow. Dude. The Saber Wolf. Wait. Oh, the Saber Wolf is here too, but... Hmm. Mad Con Torpedo, that is cope. It is actually cope. The thanks of debris, I can't actually do anything. Damn it, I can't hit them all. I can hit, at least do some heavy damage here. Oh, I mistook the ships because... Why is the Omega Cruiser red? That, that sucks, man. There's no way to get Railgun Salvo to hit everyone, is there?
Mechlin Torpedo still no good, but this could hit. I need to back up my team immediately. There. That takes some pressure off my other guys for now. That's an ally, that's an enemy. anti salvo it won't be able to hit all of them. Tim, I'm too slow. The Malarian Dreadnought. Why are you going there? Ugh. They're surrounding me. If I use this, all right, direct hit. No! Arr. I may have to heal. That corn torpedoes suck. They're not meta at all. Even when they hit, they don't do that much dam more damage than any other attack anyways. Oh, direct hit! Ah. Saber Wolf. There's a lot of enemies up there. I think I think going here will be more important. I don't know. But right now the enemy is way too far away for me to hit. Their hitboxes are right there, so if I land right here... I can hit them both. Nice. If I do this, I think I can hit at least one of you. Yes! The advantage is mine. As long as I don't accidentally friendly fire or something.
this little dude right here that I forgot about. Move here to back up the air, guys. Yeah, because they're located right there, I can't. Uh, do, uh, I won't be able to efficiently do deal with this, huh? I do this. There. We're slowly but surely taking them out. Saber Wolf, can you reach from here? No, we cannot. There. Mega Cruisers start heading towards the enemy. Heal self. Imagine being that. Imagine being this lone and the last enemy left alive, watching as everyone just slowly closes in. Yikes. Auto saved. Okay. We thought all was lost, but our memory lives on. My people live on. All because of the actions of the people standing before you today. We are honored to have them as friends and allies. Or we'll be the first to join this coalition. Only when we work in union will we be able to stop the threat to us all. The events of the last few days have been deeply disturbing for all of us. The truth of the alliance's intentions for our world. The tools that Kern has at his disposal. Yeah, at this point everyone knows that, that Kern tried to use deep fake. Events of a shattered future and a twisted past, countless civilizations, known and unknown, all extinguished at the hands of this synthetic dictator. Built an empire of lies, in service of a warped agenda. We've all suffered at our hands. The worst part of all, we can't even share what we've learned. The Zell Novel Raven remains intact. There's been a complete information blackout. The inhibitor prevents them from warping in, but they control the flow of information. It's worse than that. After we destroyed the blockade, they continued their attacks and framed us. Lord Zeron is still out there, doing a lot of damage. You all know the truth now. Anybody still watching their propaganda thinks we're the genocidal maniacs? To those who signed over your command codes to the enemy, your fleets are being used to bolster the Alliance's fleet protecting the station. 
They're consolidating your forces. We can't stay balled up here forever. If we don't strike now, even our combined fleet won't be enough. What do your friends from the future have to say? We lost all contact with Times Eclipse the moment the fleet came through the gate. We can only guess what guess the history has changed, but where do we go from here? There are no easy answers. There's only one person here who has experience in gaining independence for his people, despite having to face a superior fighting force. I say we take the fight to them. The Alliance is cold, calculated, and methodical, much like the man who leads them, Director Kern. We must turn these strengths into weaknesses. We have to compromise our ability to communicate and coordinate, so we have to destroy the race somehow, but it's going to be so well guarded that even e normal mode might be tough. The head must be separated from the body. That means taking out the array. But it's not that, that's, that's simple either. Scrap Strings Division knows uh, through their troubles of the future that many more of these arrays were built, and this is just one It's just the first. We must prevent that from happening. We must use their own tools against them. If their own array can be used against them, they will link twice before building an R. You're going to hijack the array. And we'll use it for our own communication, huh? But we have to purge uh, uh, Kern's program from it, too. The station is protected by a large field. A fleet, if we attack head on, our chance of victory is low. We must split their attention. The Alliance knows what the supercarrier is capable of. That will be their primary target. First, we use the jump drive to position a small fleet for uh, what will look like a head on assault. The fleet will be led by a supercarrier. And I'm sure there's going to be a smaller team uh, 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 teleporting inside the, the uh, array somehow. This will draw our forces out, leaving the array exposed. Then, once we draw them out as far as we can, we take away their primary target. At this moment, the supercarrier makes a short jump to the dark side of the moon. We activate the inhibitor. This will prevent enemy reinforcements from arriving. We begin our assault from the far side of the moon, landing pods launched from the supercarrier. Hundreds of troops. We hit them fast and we hit them hard. They plan for a fleet battle. They won't be expecting hundreds of ground troops. We storm the station, taking a key control points. While the troops initiate their assault, the Saber Wolf will lead the destruction fleet. The goal is simple. Draw them out, waste their energy, solve for time. Our goal is to gain access to the station's key systems as quickly as possible. Once we gain access, we will use our own array against them. Gianna can explain the details. Thank you, Admiral. The blueprints provided by Times Eclipse show us how we can circumvent the array security. Transmission of all signals to and from the array are managed by the station's control center. However, transmissions themselves go through the station's communications hub. The station's AI typically determines which transmissions are authentic. If we hope to send a transmission, we must circumvent that security. Then, we'll be able to send our transmission. Where are we sending? Payback. We the, the Malarians in digital form, as well as the ones named Krilnor and Cronus 13. We volunteer to be the transmission. Cronus 13 and the others will copy themselves to all ESA ships and installations. From there, they will wreak havoc, acting as some sort of supercharged AI computer virus. To defend themselves, the ESA will stop all transmissions to and from the array. They will no longer be able to effectively coordinate their forces and communications. They'll retreat back to their core territories. We'll be free from their shackles, once and for all. Now that you all know our proposed plan, I'd like to call for a vote. If approved, we'll begin our preparations immediately. Approved. 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 Are you gonna- how many are- are we gonna count each and every single one of you right now? Yes, votes 30. No votes 0. Wow. I guess seeing that deep fake really made people mad. The vote is unanimous. We stand united. If we are victorious, this will mark the beginning of a new era. One free of ESA oppression. Activating jump drive. Time to kick some ass. Are we gonna have another tactics battle back to back? Oh yeah, we are. Zeron, you are once again completely fucking surrounded. As usual. 
Oh my goodness. How do you keep teleporting in the worst possible locations, Zeron? Literally, there's no safe angle for me. Dude. Just head downwards. And just attack here. I think that's a good start. Yeah. A little bit of AoE damage goes a long way. Ah! Oh my goodness, why are my guys even pointing that way to begin with? There's nothing there! The fact that... Yeah, one problem with the Texas Battle is that they give you... Let you place one unit, but you can't control the direction all your other units are facing, so... They can be pointing the worst possible direction. Like, they're all pointed down by default, which is really bad if they're not located completely to the north. On hard mode, this probably would get my entire fleet destroyed instantly. Dude, they're positioning themselves so I can't just AoE them without getting friendly fired. Finally, a turn. Okay, Saber Wolf is unfortunately super far away from everything useful. Night Count torpedoes are literally useless. Dang it. I wish there was like a action, a buffing action or defense action I could do when I can't reach anyone. Fight while running away. Oh man. There. Take out both you and your drones. I won't be able to hit them all at once. Or can I? No, if I move a little closer... I think I can hit them all. Yo! Now we can rescue the flagship. Which way are you facing, actually? There. 
There, another one bites the dust. There. Moving ever closer. Okay. There. Let's keep going, march towards that. Uh, since there's nothing I can attack, let's just use a repair drone. Repair drones are cheap. Problem is I can't hit these guys without hitting my own guys, so no, no, no antimatter missiles for me. Can't reach anything, repair. Yeah, it's gonna hit all my guys, I can't use it here. If I use it here, I won't hit any of my own people. Direct hit. So that's your behind. Okay. Heal, that's all I can do at this distance. I can't hit the array itself though, even though it's sitting right there in front of me.
Okay. They got their- that got their attention. They're sending the rest of their fleet in their direction. Chronos, it's time. Activating jump drive. That looks like Earth, but with Saturn's rings. Is this place gonna be the real final dungeon then? Yeah, now it's all ground battles. We're only a few sections away from the communications hub, it's just up ahead. Whoa, these guys have so much money, what the heck? Nice. I guess that's to help me afford any last minute stuff, but... I don't think there's uh, there's much I can buy here, right? We secured a section. Coalition troopers. More money. Why are they so rich? Were these, uh, uh, are these really high-ranking soldiers? Disarming these warheads. Checking this cargo for listening devices. Do we even have a shop? Knock them on their ass, guys. More money? Wouldn't want any of these warheads to go off while we're in here. There's a matter fabricator. Obviously none of the futuristic ones, only the modern weapons. So yeah, that, 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 that segment in uh, Times Eclipse is the only part time when we can get those really good items. There won't be any invited guests. Keep the dropship safe. Good hunting. At this point, I'm as strong as I can possibly be. I don't think there's going to be any more tactics battles after this, is there? Yeah, this is the operation to end all operations. Very hard. Who will be guarding this section, though? Fraxton? Is that the real Kern? So you made this far. You, your miserable life's end right here, now. What? What are you gonna do? Attack me from the computer screen? Yeah, I'd like to see it try. Wait. Oh. 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 Okay, I see what's going on here. Support drones? Oh, man. But if you're all computer screens, then guess what? That means you're weak to electricity. You really think you stand a chance? You, fuck off, you synthetic prick. You're being getting to annoy me. Glad to be of service. Dude, we already took out like almost half your health. Dang, these future weapons are really something else, even on very hard mode. Well, T17 did not benefit from any of that because T17 did not get any upgrades in the future for some reason. Dude, that's so sad. Okay. Anti-matter degradation. You fools, do you realize what you've said in motion? Do you? Okay, at this point, I think I just spam anti-matter cascade. Anti-matter is... Is there anything that's actually good against anti-matter? I, ha I actually uh, am curious. Dude! If I go down, I'm taking you to hell with me. Perhaps we'll see you there. Yep, 
Yeah, that's what you get for trying to attack me with a computer screen instead of being there in person. Ha. Huh. Yeah, so Betty's sitting on the other side just uh, trying to fight us with his Xbox 360 controller. Cross it's time. Do it now. Hurry. Oh no, do I have to fight in cyberspace? If I have to fight in cyberspace, I'll lose. Initiating transmission. Even with my entire army of Malarians, I don't know if I can beat Kern. Is it just gonna be like all 300 Malarians versus one Kern? That'd be insane, actually. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like that one game where you had to control one a party of a hundred people. Yes, the person whose class is leader led a hundred people, a hundred of their friends, just to beat up a, a couple of bosses. Of course, in practice, there's only a few of your party members will be useful at any given time to the type system. Sir, we're receiving a transmission. Put through. System compromised. The engine core is losing by cohesion. Boom! You hijacked the interface! I won't let you destroy my life's work! You won't survive this, you know? Oh crap! Do you just take a screenshot of your of all your JSON files or something? Oh no! It's working. I'm detecting complete network cascade failure. Oh no! Chris's interface is overloading. Our memory lives on. No! I hope you backed everything up, Cronus. I hope you backed it all up with a jump drive somewhere. No. He, I don't think he's making it to the next game. Cronus! Is Cronus okay? Oh no, don't tell me he's gonna wake up as Kern. There's nothing I can do. Come on, Gianna. You can fix Cronus up like the last time. But the Malarians inside him must be dead by now. I'm afraid not. The damage is too severe. Cronus' last words. Our memory live on, lives on. Maybe a copy of Cronus survived somewhere on the ESA's network? It's highly unlikely. Kern will definitely purge all affected computer systems. Or worse yet, he'll copy Cronus' data and remake it into his servant. Come on, guys, let's have a little hope. Cronus is alive, somewhere. Even Cronus and the Aris did survive. There's no way to contact them. We're cut off. So it worked? Flux to Lexington, says. Maybe Cronus will show up in the next game as an enemy. That we can maybe convert back to being an ally. Maybe. Lexington here, we're mopping up the rest of the enemy forces. Maybe we'll get future cyberspace battles where we'll have to find Cronus and re and rescue him. And the other Malarians. Lexington here, we're mopping up the rest of the enemy forces. The enemy is in full retreat. I'm detecting no enemy signals to the array. It seems like the plan worked. How's our android friend doing? Cronus didn't make it. That's a hell of a shame. We wouldn't have gotten this far without the android. We still have a lot of work to do. They might be in full retreat now, but they'll be back. The fight has only just begun. We have to prepare for what's coming. They'll make... Uh, 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 but w so now that uh, we've proved that their arrays can be used against them, what will they do? Keeping this collision together isn't going to be easy. We'll all be asked to make sacrifices, like our android friends. Some will pay with their lives. Sorry to interrupt, sir, but I'm detecting something. An er energy signature. It's coming from the third planet. Take us there. I want to get a closer look. What the? D Someone nuked it. Could be we accidentally accelerated the purge? It's been bombarded from orbit. ESA weapon signatures. They bombed themselves. Why? To frame you, obviously. 
That's what they always do. There's extensive military infrastructure on the planet. Oh, they didn't want us to steal their stuff. Seems that they had that whatever they had going on down there, they did not want it to fall into enemy hands. Many of the installations remain intact. It, se it seems they did not have enough time to destroy everything before the retreat. And let's salvage what we can, and use it against them in the future. Let's send an expeditionary force. There might be something down there that can help us in the fight ahead. It will be the first order of business when we get back to Infernus. We have to report to the Council and request approval. We can't go running in half-cocked anymore. It's gonna be hard, sir. I'm used to doing things my way. I've gotten this far by breaking the rules. Now I have to enforce them. We represent the Coalition now, Argus. We have to lead by example. When others see our example working in action, it inspires others to do the same. When we work together, nobody can stand in our way. Aye, right, sir. I'll try to make it work. That's all any of us can do. This is not exactly what I planned for my retirement, you know? I hereby faithfully execute the ex Office of Commander-in-Chief of the Coalition. Admiral Bernard was elected Commander-in-Chief of the Coalition Armed Forces. He w was not able to retire like he originally planned. He continues to serve. Expelled from home, Tiberius Fox continues to serve Admiral Bernard. He only wishes he could go home. Serena Mori continues as a close aide to Admiral Bernard. Owen works closely with the training of Coalition troops. He also works to recruit others to the cause. Let's get out down there. Let's see what those scumbags were hiding from us. Let's do this. Oh, is Tiberius going to be uh, going to replace Cronus as a party member? I got first dibs on any time travel tech. Ah, King, of course. Wait, uh, uh, are we actually do doing this in uh, one more playable segment? Argus Lexington was appointed head of special operations for a Coalition. He now commands the Saber Wolf where he enjoys the most dangerous missions available to him. Never able to sit still for too long, always wanting to be part of the action, Marie Williams joined Lexington on his dangerous missions. Jack Victor ha has always stuck with Marie through thick and thin. He continues to do so, so ring with her aboard the Saber Wolf. It's always an adventure. Wait! Tyrion was alive the whole time? The heck? Why didn't they kill you? I thought, uh, you, you don't have any value as a prisoner, do you? Gianna. Dad, they said you were dead. Why did they keep him alive is the real question, huh? Gianna Flux was able to work to get reunited with her father. What if they brainwash him into a Manchurian agent? The fact that they have that ability makes me very paranoid. They're together as a team, continuing to unlock more secrets of ancient technology. Book me a passage to Alpha Centauri. I know it's restricted, but we need to make an exception this time. Here's the paperwork. I have three bots as well. Is that going to be a problem? Sword Xander left for ESA territory to conduct ongoing covert operations. He continues searching for Chronos 13, believing the android is still alive. He's assisted by T-17, Chronos 5G, and Service 7. As you can see, this one is still well preserved. Maybe you can help us get it back online. The Malarians. Crack's Grog works closely with the Malarian survivors. He acts as a liaison, exchanging customs and helping them re to rebuild their society. The credits. We actually did it. But who knows what they actually nuked. Created and written by Douglas Gustafsson. Proofreading Kiyasu Oka. Man, that was, uh, that was quite a wild ride, huh? Definitely a lot. Uh, it definitely feels like we got a lot more done than in Origins. Yes, we actually struck a major blow to the enemy. We forced them uh, to the point where they had to d destroy a lot of their own infrastructure, just to uh, deny us a, a complete victory. Dally Free is in the credits. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, yeah, this game definitely uh, 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 goes much deeper into the story than the previous one. 
Gameplay-wise, it is mostly the same, though there is a s small difference. The beginning dungeon is easier in this game, mostly due to the fact that you can get it's shorter and you your your first boss is basically shoot the wire and you win. So that means you can get yourself to to the point where you can safely grind much faster and then stay ahead of the curve. Though I might have over grinded a tad. Yeah, the the skill tree ceiling and the equipment ceiling was, I I feel like it was designed it, it with the expectation. I feel like the shops here were. Uh, yeah, the, the ceiling for your equipment is pretty high for your non-robot characters, that's for sure. Yeah, see, even even on very hard, the final boss went down very easily to a, to a very well-equipped party. If I had more mid-tier equipment, it would probably take a little longer, and I'd probably have to exchange a few more blows. But yeah, being able to use double ganger armor and such makes me very overpowered. So stuff like double ganger armor feels like it should be... Uh, 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 it should be endgame equipment hidden behind a really difficult quest, considering how powerful it is. Yeah, so you want to space out your all your upgrades in a way that makes sense. Oh, there's my name for some reason. When we work together, we can make a difference. Yeah, the upgrades in this game are not spaced out very well. They kind of just throw it all at you at once. So if you just use the casino, you basically can upgrade yourself to the max right away. Of course, that makes Lexington's side a little bit harder because he does not have a casino. He has to rely on just mugging feral uh, canines. Oh, yeah, that's right. He sells the Eye of Providence. That's going to be a huge bottleneck for us. This is probably all going according to Keikaku, right? Oh, no. He probably captured Cronus. That's what I think he did. I'll bring you back, even if it's the last thing I do. Who's... Who are you trying to bring back? This is only a brief setback. You may enter. Is that Wellington? Or not? I'm disappointing you, Cromwell. You failed to prevent the war. You mean we failed to prevent the war? Yeah, you... Even with your uh, uh, Xbox 360 controller, you did not... Uh, you did not stand a chance against those guys. You went up against them too and lost. On the contrary, I merely decided to change tactics to prevent a loss. That, that that android was the source of their power. The threat has now been eliminated. Are you sure? The android gave us plenty of trouble. All affected systems were purged. The chances of survival are extremely unlikely. I'm turning command of the next phase over to Director Ra. Thank you, Chief Director. I'm honored to serve. I wonder if Ra is actual is like an alter uh, is like an alias for uh, or Robert Wellington is, is an alias for Ra. They do look slightly similar. While the mission was an overall failure, Ra completed all of his objectives, sowing the seeds for, of our future victory. The dead tap we left behind on the Malarian supercarrier. It tells us everything we need to know. Dang it, I, I knew they di didn't just give it to us with no strings attached. We now have the space-time location of the Order of Restoration and Times Eclipse. Without the Order's help, the Sraktite Coalition would have failed. They're going to destroy the Order? You mean what's left of the Turn Republic crew? They've been such a forward in, the, in our side. They will not be barring us any longer. You're gonna send a space-time missile or something to nuke them, right? It's the fleet ready. Dude, just when we thought we were doing well, they just... Uh, they're just... Now we have no more backup. Yes, sir, Chief Director. That was my last chance to buy the ultimate weapons, huh? Now leave it to you. A limited order of restoration, by any means necessary. Understood, Chief Director. Even though he knows he must have been, he, He's the one responsible for causing the purge, he's still going ahead of this. He cares more about his own personal power than preventing the purge. Yep, and that is Starship Rebellion. Huh. Yeah, tactics battles, though, you cannot really prepare for. I wonder if I could have been the tactics battle on hard mode, though. It would probably be pretty tough, but very hard would probably be a step too far, especially when I'm starting, uh, in the, uh, when the enemy gets to move first and attack behind me. It would just instantly nuke me, for sure. Even with my, uh, even with the Malarian fleet being somewhat more OP in terms of stats on normal mode. I think that, uh, yeah. But for ground battles, your ceiling is so high that very hard mode is actually pretty beatable. You might even win with before the enemy can even get a turn. Yeah, a lot of the pa passives were 
not designed for this game's final boss in mind. It was probably designed for the main game's final boss, which will have even more stats to match the uh, to match the, the uh, capped out player. That's what I'm guessing, at least. That's why the skill tree is so big. You don't. Uh, you probably only need to complete a small fraction of it in order to beat the game on normal mode or even very hard. Yes. Yeah, the upgrade ceiling versus what the enemy ceiling is. There's quite a huge difference. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for Starship Rebellion. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and maybe try the game for yourself.